Hello to you newcomers and welcome back subscribers. This is Big Baby Props and I'm the Big Baby. Today I've got a short tutorial for you in Mesh Mixer. The me Mesh Mixer. What we've got here is the Captain Rex helmet from Colonius. This is free on Thingiverse, so if you're interested in the file, it's free and online, so go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Now this helmet file is pretty great, it's pretty accurate. But one thing that I found lacking was uh, the neck hole. Now, as you can see, it's kind of small. And I can tell you from experience, you can't fit your head in there, especially if you have a giant head like I do. So I'm going to show you guys a way to cut out a larger hole so you guys can get it to fit around your head like I did. So. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some primitives. Primitives are basic objects, you know, very simple, sphere, uh, plane, uh, dodecahedron maybe. It's not very simple, but it's popular. Uh, cube, cylinder, all these are called primitives. What we're going to do is we're going to bring a sphere primitive onto our model. We are going to use it to cut out a circular hole so now I, I don't even know what kind of shape this is but we're gonna use a circle to cut out a nice good chunk out of it so that we can fit our heads through so all you've got to do is hit this mesh mix button here I'll cancel hit the mesh mix button that brings up your primitives you can also bring in some other stuff if you need like you could bring in a leg. It looks like that's weird. So we're going to use a circle. But just drag it out here. Try and get it as centered as you can. You're going to kind of have to eyeball it because there's no real way to center it exactly on the object, at least that I know of. So now that you've got your ball in, we need to make it a little bit bigger. I think all you have to do, oops, don't do that, is hit this little triangle, and that is the scale that will make it bigger. So, we can see through it on the bottom, which is going to help us guess the right size. That looks pretty good to me. So we'll accept, and now we've got two objects in our workspace. What we're going to need to do now is bring it down to the neck hole so that they are intersecting at the place that we want. So we can go to Edit, Transform, and use these transformation arrows. So we might have made it too big. Let's edit, transform, oh, we can scale it down, I think, there should be a uniform scaling, there it is, and we can move it in free space. Scale it up a little bit more. Oh, it needs to be a little bit taller. You want to make sure that it's intersecting with our original object or with our helmet here. So it might need to go upwards a little bit more. And we can also make it a little bit bigger so that it grabs this part over here. Okay. Maybe a little bit there. Okay. Now that we've got our primitive set up, we can begin to cut them from each other. So in 3D modeling, there's something called a Boolean combine, which takes two objects and combines them in different way. So a Boolean union would just fuse these two objects together, like say you welded them or glued them. 
Boolean difference is what we're going to use. It takes one objects, takes one object and subtracts it from the other, leaving you with what's left. Lastly, Boolean intersection is what you get when it takes only the parts that are uh, overlapping. So for us, that will be our little extra neck seal that we're trying to get rid of. So in order to cut the sphere from the helmet, we first need to select the helmet first, then hold shift and select the sphere. Now order is important because otherwise the, the helmet would be cut from the sphere. Say so let's select the sphere first and I'll show you guys. If we selected our Boolean difference, we'd be left with the ball with the ring cut out of the middle. See, that's not what we want at all. It took that extra part and cut it out of the sphere. So, let's go back, select our helmet first, hold shift, and select our ball. Now we can do Boolean difference. And let it think a minute. And there, we're left with a helmet with a much more inviting hole for our heads. Uh, obviously you, you guys can make the hole bigger or smaller depending on how big your head is and yeah this works just about in any 3d modeling software I just thought it might be a good tip for you guys to learn if you're printing helmets and you need a little you know, you've got a bigger bigger melon on your shoulders if you're like me so Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.